The Savannah Regional Security Council, led by its chairman, Said Muhazu Jibril, has given a four-week ultimatum to rosewood fellers, commercial charcoal burners, and illegal miners to use the period to put themselves together and pack out of the region or be dealt with according to the law. At a news briefing at Domongo in the West Konja municipality, the chairman said the ultimatum is born out of questions thrown at him during his vetting and has vowed to deal with the menace in his first 30 days in office as regional minister. Legal rosewood felling and commercial charcoal burning in particular. But also bear in mind there's another issue that is rearing its ugly head in the Savannah region and that has to do with illegal mining. I'll on our river bodies. And so the RESEC took a firm decision to completely ban commercial charcoal burning in the Savannah region, also rosewood fairly in the Savannah region, which is also very, very uh, important to us as members of RESEC because we have to protect our environment. Then, illegal mining, how to regularize illegal mining in the Savannah region. As you are well aware, there are so many deposits of gold in the Savannah region, of which, the, particularly the western side of it, which is completely inundated by illegal miners in the Savannah region. And therefore, the 16 regional ministers had an opportunity to meet the, minister, the sector minister, that is Lands and Natural Resources Minister, to, to maybe, what will I say, to find a way to stop illegal mining, but not to completely do away with uh, uh, mining within our savannah region. And so we are listening up with people with concession to register these illegal miners so that they will do community mining instead of illegal mining, destroying the environment and destroying our water bodies within the savannah region.